Hi. Welcome to Just Trading. In this video, our team give you an analysis with the information we got after the closing date time of June 1, 2020. Our objective is to give you suggestions to trade with less risk and higher capital return. Remember to stop the video at any time, if you want to look at it carefully. Here, we show you an example of the stock's timestamp that you can find on the video's comments. You can click on the timestamp and go to the stock's details. SP500 ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Dow Jones Industrial ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. NASDAQ 100 ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Corporate bond ETF belongs to the bull normal class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the market sectors table. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell real estate sector EDF. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 2.8%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $33.87. For put option, a possible put price is at $1.31. Energy sector ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of energy sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Financial sector ETF was a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that financial sector ETF is a bull high class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 1.8%. You may expect now a sell return of 0.7%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $23.52. But we expect a possible buy price of $23.3. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $24.63. On the put option table, financial sector ETF has a striking price at $24. For this option, the actual put price is at $0.77. But we expect a possible put price at $0.7. Let's look at the stocks table of financial sector. There is a weak opportunity to buy Bank of America. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 3.9%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $24.71. For call option, a possible call price is at $0.8. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell Morgan Stanley. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 13.6%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $44.28. For put option, a possible put price is at $1.56. American International G was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that American International G is a bull high class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 5.7%. You may expect now a buy return of 0.4%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $30.67. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $30.21. On the call option table, American International G has a striking price at $29.
For this option, the actual call price is at $2.03, but we expect a possible call price at $1.48. Charles Schwab is a strong sell suggestion. It is on a bull low class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average sell return of 4.1%. You may expect now a sell return of 3.1%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $35.52, but we expect a possible sell price of $37.31. In addition, we suggest to stop selling Charles Schwab if it is over 1.45% of your stock price trade. On the put option table, Charles Schwab has a striking price at $38. For this option, the actual put price is at $1.95, but we expect a possible put price at $1.4. Citigroup Incorporated is a strong sell suggestion. It is on a bull high class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average sell return of 8.4%. You may expect now a sell return of 3.6%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $47.37, but we expect a possible sell price of $49.29. In addition, we suggest to stop selling Citigroup Incorporated if it is over 4.40% of your stock price trade. On the put option table, Citigroup Incorporated has a striking price at $50. For this option, the actual put price is at $2.14, but we expect a possible put price at $2.17. Morgan Stanley was a previous top seller alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that Morgan Stanley is a bull high class. In the past, it has given an average sell return off. You may expect now a sell return of 13.6%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $38.64. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $44.71. On the put option table, Morgan Stanley has a striking price at $46. For this option, the actual put price is at $2.1, but we expect a possible put price at $1.56. Real estate sector ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of real estate sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Prologis was a previous top seller alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that Prologis is a bull high class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 8.5%. You may expect now a sell return of 2.4%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $91.45, but we expect a possible buy price of $91.35. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $94.7. On the put option table, Prologis has a striking price at $96. For this option, the actual put price is not available but we expect a possible put price at $2.47. Healthcare sector ETF was a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that healthcare sector ETF is a bull high class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 1.1%. You may expect now a sell return of 2.1%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $99.89. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $104.78.
On the put option table, healthcare sector ETF has a striking price at $103. For this option, the actual put price is at $2.02. But we expect a possible put price at $1.54. Let's look at the stocks table of healthcare sector. There is a mild opportunity to buy Medtronic PLC. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 4.0%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $97.57. For call option, a possible call price is at $2.47. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell United Health Group. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 2.2%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $294.84. For put option, a possible put price is at $7.64. Abbey Incorporated was a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that Abbey Incorporated is a trade low class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 1.5%. You may expect now a sell return of 1.1%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $89.66. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $94.01. On the put option table, Abbey Incorporated has a striking price at $94. For this option, the actual put price is at $3.81 but we expect a possible put price at $2.01. Industrial sector ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of industrial sector. There is a weak opportunity to buy Raytheon Technologies. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 5.7%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $64.56. For call option, a possible call price is at $2.2. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell Emerson Electric. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 1.1%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $59.55. For put option, a possible put price is at $2.01. Lockheed Martin was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Lockheed Martin is a bull normal class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 5.0%. You may expect now a buyer return of 5.3%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $409.7. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $385.07. On the call option table, Lockheed Martin has a striking price at $380. For this option, the actual call price is at $11.3 but we expect a possible call price at $8.69. Material sector ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of material sector. There is a weak opportunity to buy Sherwin-Williams. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 0.9%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $591.61. For call option, a possible call price is at $15.17. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell Ecolab Incorporated. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 2.5%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $202.52. For put option, a possible put price is at $7.01.
Sherwin Williams is a weak buy suggestion. It is on a bull high class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average buy return of 2.3%. You may expect now a buy return of 0.9%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $591.61, but we expect a possible buy price of $579.98. In addition, we suggest to stop buying Sherwin Williams. If it is below 2.20% of your stock price trade, on the call option table, Sherwin Williams has a striking price at $575. For this option, the actual call price is at $16.35, but we expect a possible call price at $15.17. Discretionary sector ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stock's table of discretionary sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell Tesla Inc. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 5.9%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $851.57. For put option, a possible put price is at $42.62. Consumer Staples ETF was a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that Consumer Staples ETF is a bull high class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 0.6%. You may expect now a sell return of 1.1%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $58.97. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $60.87. On the put option table, Consumer Staples ETF has a striking price at $61. For this option, the actual put price is at $1.35, but we expect a possible put price at $1.35. Let's look at the stock's table of Staples sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Costco Wholesale was a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that Costco Wholesale is a bull normal class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 2.6%. You may expect now a sell return of half a percent. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $306.66, but we expect a possible buy price of $301.23. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $308.47. On the put option table, Costco Wholesale has a striking price at $320. For this option, the actual put price is at $12.75 but we expect a possible put price at $7.49. Procter & Gamble was a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that Procter & Gamble is a trade normal class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 3.3%. You may expect now a sell return of 1.0%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $116.04, but we expect a possible buy price of $115.5. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $117.31. On the put option table, Procter & Gamble has a striking price at $118. For this option, the actual put price is at $2.32 but we expect a possible put price at $1.94. Technology sector ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of technology sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. 
our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Oracle Corporation was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Oracle Corporation is a bear high class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 2.3%. You may expect now a buy return of 1.2%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $53.67, but we expect a possible sell price of $54.67. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $52.03. On the call option table, Oracle Corporation has a striking price at $51. For this option, the actual call price is at $1.55, but we expect a possible call price at $0.85. Communication Sector ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of communication sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell Comcast Corporation. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 4.1%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $39.6. For put option, a possible put price is at $0.94. Comcast Corporation was a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that Comcast Corporation is a bull high class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 2.7%. You may expect now a sell return of 4.1%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $38.52. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $41.54. On the put option table, Comcast Corporation has a striking price at $41. For this option, the actual put price is at $1.29, but we expect a possible put price at $0.94. T-Mobile US was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that T-Mobile US is a trade low class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 4.6%. You may expect now a buy return of 3.6%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $103.33, but we expect a possible sell price of $103.4. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $96.59. On the call option table, T-Mobile US has a striking price at $97. For this option, the actual call price is at $3.98, but we expect a possible call price at $2.4. Utility Sector ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of utility sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Southern Company is a strong sell suggestion. It is on a bull normal class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average sell return of 1.8%. You may expect now a sell return of 0.2%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $56.51, but we expect a possible sell price of $57.59. In addition, we suggest to stop selling Southern Company if it is over 0.25% of your stock price trade. On the put option table, Southern Company has a striking price at $58. For this option, the actual put price is at $1.32, but we expect a possible put price at
This ends the analysis of our team that gives you a good start on your trading day. Please, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Share it and leave it a like if you find it useful. Thanks for following us. We hope to see you on our next Just Trading video. Bye.